Good morning, Metaverse. This is the Jedi coming to you guys today. Um, bring a little coffee time video. Alright, we always like some coffee in our morning. Um, today, mostly just going to be doing a general overview of kind of a key, you know, projects I'm, I'm looking into. Just running through the Discord. Two in the morning, Discord check, that's all. Um, kind of going over that, checking into different projects, showing you guys what different projects I'm at and what maybe you want to look at yourselves. Um, you know, this isn't financial advice, but I am here to educate you guys. Um, so I did show the Pebble game the other day, right? Um, I did show the Pebble game and it was doing pretty solid, alright? It was at an all-time high, hit all the way to one cent, alright? From being uh, 0 0.002 out of a dollar all the way to one cent so you know that's a pretty good 5x right there you know um i did pull out some of my money at this point um mainly because i actually needed to pull out money to invest in another game called the pizza game <laughs> and it's a similar concept to the rock game like we're like we already looked at we'll just do a quick quick uh, little look over of it real quick for you guys up two other projects I'm looking at just so you guys maybe check them out yourselves, right? So we got Pizza Game, alright? So, um, the Mint was already yesterday, um, I, and I need to get better at making, making more videos for you guys, but we did have the private and public Mint yesterday. Um, I did pick up a couple of these um, with uh, money I made exclusively from the Pebble Game, so that was kind of cool. Um, I already paid myself off when I did that, so I'm already clean and clear as far as my ROI um, on the Pebble game. Um, as well as it is kind of starting to level out a little bit right now, you know, as we're looking at these charts here. Um, and even if it stays somewhat consistent to where it's at right now, you know, um, I still got my chart going, I have my updated pricing. Um, and you know, we're looking at about, I'm making still $56 a day from four NFTs, you know, and that's not too bad. Really, that's, that's not too bad, guys. Um, you buy a Star Atlas ship for $800 and you're making a dollar a day, you know, so the, as long as this doesn't bottom out to a dollar, and even if it bottoms out to a dollar, like, realistically, you know that's that's about average so you know when <clears throat> whenever you see high ROI stuff those probably aren't sustainable most of the time so just keep that in mind guys usually the golden rule is anything under 3% ROI is going to be somewhat legit and, long, and actually like sustainable um, compared to some other crazy numbers right um, but we'll see we'll see what happens with uh, Pebble Game we're still I think we're going to be doubling down. I think we're just going to be working on upgrading our rocks some more. Um, I actually just got one of my rocks yesterday um, to actually fight the last boss. And let's see if I got to change my network. Alright. So yeah, even if we, uh, cause we look at just my one that I have upgraded all the way to attack the heavy hitter, the hammer, the death hammer. Um, he's making uh, 156,000 pebble a day, just that one NFT, so um, definitely worth upgrading your rocks if you guys are somewhat into the rock game. We are hitting 25% of um, total claimed pebble, um, as well as that's, that's why everyone's just trying to burn baby burn, right? You know, try to bring that price back up if we can burn, burn enough pebble, so keep it burning. Alright guys, two other games just to maybe look in yourselves um, and I'll do a whole different video on later um, you know we got the pizza game very similar to kind of the rock game but there's a lot more attributes it's built um, with a lot more to actually do and keep the money inside the economy and keep it longer lasting um, so there's that game as well as the space game and you know so that's actually not the right one well it's the right one it's just not the okay it looks like we gotta go to Twitter just to get these on your guys' radars. All right, and then this is Space Game, all right? So it's a little bit similar as far as how it's kind of going to be playing with your just staking NFTs. Um, the Mint is going to be happening today, I believe. I think I 
I might have cleared the whitelist. I need to check and verify, but I've been trying to work my butt on that whitelist. Um, and then I do know the public mint for this is going to be Wednesday, guys. So that's coming up in a day. Um, so at least I'm coming bring this to you a little bit early, right? So anyways, hopefully today I can make a different video for this, and I can make a different video for Pizza Game for you guys. But just wanted to kind of bring that to you guys' attention, bring them up, um, check them out yourselves, you know? And I'll definitely be doing a video of them later on, guys. Alright, now let's check our discords, right? Just because every morning, too many projects, too much to read. So most of the time, you know, I click into these. Um, I try to stay active in mainly um, smaller communities. Um, I try to try, stay really active with Final Frontier. Um, try to always check in there and try to, try to be an active and, uh, participant in that community as best I can. Um, as well as a couple others that I'm in, but there's definitely a lot more projects you're into. There's, it definitely takes takes it away from you. So just make sure you guys are also at the same time leaving some space for yourself. You know, make sure you can get a break. Um, so just a new raid, new update, John the General. So there's nothing new coming to the pizza game, right? So right now, you know, there's about 6,400, you know, 6,000 members in Discord. Um, yes, with games lodging on the 9th, so the game starts tomorrow. The public mint is already sold out, and the whitelist mint is already sold out um, for this game. But you can buy them. You can still buy Pizza Game NFTs from Marketplace, which I don't think they're too. Um, I don't think they're too too expensive right now. At least for the Pizza Game, yeah. So you know they're they're two two point eight eight ABEX, right? Um, I did mint mine for, I believe, 1.5, so you do have that to take into consideration, but for entry level pricing, that's not too bad, guys. Um, so, we're gonna check back on the rock game in a little bit. So that's kind of the Pete's game. Um, you know, these are their characters, their NFTs. Um, look into them if you want to, and I will be posting a video later today over them. Same thing for the space game. I'll be posting a video for them later. Alright, so let's get back into Discord. So there's nothing really too much going on in this server. Um, I do know that uh, 2112 did do their mint yesterday. Um, I'm into too many projects at this point, and I wanted to mint, but I just couldn't see putting the money forward for something that I wasn't that heavily um, focused at. Um, I do know that I could pick up some on the resale marketplace, and I, I kind of was thinking about that last night since I missed the mint, but I think I'm just going to hold off on this one. Um, I think I'm going to just stay out of this one, not dabble, too many too many projects going on, um, too many updates that I have to read up on, clearly I have, I have 13 updates. You know, the last one, hi, um, we love to see mints keep coming and new people joining, we are so grateful for the support you keep showing. Um, I've slept a combined six hours last night over the last three days. Um, I can't put together a more profound text right now, but I want to personally thank each and every one of you. So at least th this team, I believe, is very committed, guys. Um, it's a good thing you want to see. Because I believe their mints are fully sold out would be my expectation. So we're actually going to pull up the mint site. I don't know if that's legit because it says 3,000 and 3,000 remaining. Okay. Oh no, yeah, they're all sold out. Oh, uh, that one sold out. Okay. So they're not all sold out, so I might actually pick one of these up today then. Um, Alright guys, what are we, what are we sitting at? Um, I don't think I have any ETH, actual ETH though. Yeah, yeah, I moved everything over to, to Polygon yesterday, that way I could buy into Space Game today. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Definitely didn't move my savings into crypto. Definitely didn't do that. Who would do that, guys? Come on. Anyways, let's get to it. So, anyways, um, I might actually look at still possibly minting into this one today. Um, as well as Space Game. 
this is the biggest one I want to cover right now. They are doing their private mint today and their public mint on Wednesday, guys. All right, so we got a couple announcements to go go through. Um, today is the day we finally launched Space Game. Hey, let's go get pumped up. All right, so you know we got a fair amount of people asking when is the final whitelist posted. That's what I need to verify on, right? You know, um, I do live a life. I do work a full-time job, so I don't always have time to kind of be up on this, guys. But I try to be. <clears throat> All right, so I am. I already know I'm in. Um, it says if you're a secured Marine, that means you've se secured a whitelist post. Guys, I didn't even meet the criteria of inviting enough people or the criteria of reaching level 10 by commenting enough and just talking in the Discord. Literally, they were running mission logs. And these are kind of, like, I kind of cool. I kind of dig these, right? So they were doing mission logs. Um, let's see, did they actually have a new one? Okay, so House of Marine is now enabled. So we're actually going to get this guy. That way we can... So they, they had these little missions rolling in Discord. Um, and I thought they were kind of cool. You know, it's just little, little codes that you can... Commander codes you can use. And essentially they disable some of them. They enable other ones. And then you go down to your rollout section, and then you just uh, you type in, you know, for this one, this one I don't think does anything too crazy, but you just have to type it in a couple times, and that you got your marine bot that you know talks back to you. So we're gonna do this just real quick, um, um, and actually I'll, I will show you what it will do. So I saw someone else post there. Yep. So we're gonna pull this, so I can actually check where I'm at. Alright, so these are all the different missions I've done. I've done the Blacksmith, Imposter Marine, Stealth Marine, Event of 2069 Survivor, OG Marine, and then Vibin, right? So I got a couple I need. I need Marine of Wars, OG Expedition, Certified Marine Bro, House of Marines, Raider, and Skeletor. So I got a couple that I have to have to try to get. You can still type the code for for these other ones, but it just won't do anything. It won't, it won't give you the, the role. And so as we see I'll do it a couple more times and uh, hopefully get that roll added in <clears throat> all right so I've been assigned the roll house of Marines and now we can uh, you know copy our legend over drop our legend in here down boom throw it up all right so now we got house of Marines taken down so we got one two three four five so we got five left um, I'm just a nerd. I used to achievement hunt back in uh, Halo 3 days, so I like doing these little kind of things. Kind of fun. So anyways, yeah, we got them, you know, talking about, hey, you know, 1 p.m. today, Easter Standard Time. Um, 11 o'clock my time is when the uh, whitelist lodge is going to start, and I, and I butcher that word every time. Lodge. Yep. It was a great childhood. And uh, so we keep going. And I, I will have to sit down and actually read through all of this. Um, yeah, they're just making sure, hey guys, there's already scams out there. Don't, don't buy any of these scams. It's not the right shit. Okay, um, a reminder to lots of admins, team members will DM you. Okay, of course, guys. DMs are the devil, guys. On Discord. If you want to DM me, DM me on Twitter. I'll talk to you there, alright? Not on Discord. Don't do that on Discord. I won't. Anything on Discord straight to the, to the delete box, alright? So anyways, we got their mint coming out today. Um, we do got a little video, we'll show some of this today. We're kind of just bouncing around on this coffee time for you. Ah, uh, can't be played. Alright, I'll put a load up on Twitter for you guys. Okay, so just a quick little video landing soon. Wow, this actually looks pretty fucking sick though. A little bit of uh, some 3D animation in there, okay. Alright. And so the game's starting next next uh, Monday on the 11th, I believe it's Monday, right? <clears throat> oh, Friday. So it's starting this Friday. Um, usually, usually these kind of projects like to give at least a day or two window from what I'm seeing. Um, for the ones that actually have some sense in their brains, because minting day can get a little bit crazy from what I'm starting to pick up on. So, 
there's some of that going on, guys. Um, as well as Grand Theft Bacon. Another one to keep on your... Yeah, no, these... The shit that I'm talking about, guys, cracks me up every day. Go and tell my coworker, hey, by the way, I just, uh, just made 200 bucks playing a baking game. <laughs> Love it. Um, anyways, guys, baking game, it's still early. You still might be able to get whitelisted. Um, I see we got 70 people whitelisted, you know, so I'm going to have to... Now, this is my next go-to now that I'm, I'm on Space Marine, or Space Game, and I can actually buy into this one today um, via whitelist. Um, which now that I'm like actually getting, trying to be very proactive and trying to get on whitelist, it's not too hard if you if you put the effort forward. Some projects are hard if they're like the invite only kind of ones. I try not to even. I just try to skip those ones for the most part. Those just seem like a waste of time to me. So, anyways, Grand Theft Bacon, another one to keep on your guys' radar. Um, Mint is going to be next week on the 13th. So that would actually be what Sunday my time. Yeah, so it'll be next Sunday. So, anyways, another one to look at, guys. In the similar kind of play to earn aspect as far as staking games, I want to say. Um, see what else do we got over here? A couple other projects I'm kind of bounced around in or in, not in. Um, as far as land projects that I've actually bought into, um, I, I kind of have three different ones right now. Um, NFT Down Under, Haven Land, and Lux. I do own a little bit of, of each of those guys, um, as I did want to kind of diversify in a sense, and I I actually have goals as far as starting a business in the metaverse and actually running a store. Um, <laughs> so that's that's kind of in the, in the plans, guys, if it ever happens at some point, so you might need some land for something like that. So they're just saying, hey, they're doing a, uh, spaces today, okay, see, this is where, you know, I where I really find links for, hey, Twitter spaces today, there's this or that, you know, sometimes I miss them, but sometimes they record them, and that's kind of nice to go back. Um, and that's why I believe I've even recorded a couple and have them on YouTube, <clears throat> just from when I, you know, so they're just saying competition, poker night that they got going on. Um, I guess we're playing poker with everyone, and uh, I guess, I guess we're doing that, all right, guys? See how awful I am at uh, playing poker. <clears throat> See if we can get uh, some of the final frontier guys in here, right? as well as Havenland. Um, I don't think they've done anything too crazy lately since they meant NFT distribution complete. Okay, just saying mentor rewards. Um, and this one I actually didn't even mint into. I actually was there the time of the mint and I couldn't get my wallet to work and it was just buffering and buffering and I didn't go and change my gas individually. And so I kind of miss out on the actual mint aspect and all the perks that come with that. So I do understand that, but I still do have a couple plots as far as the land itself in this. Um, and I do think it'll be beneficial in the future. Plus I kind of need some for what I'm looking at starting in, in, in a year, maybe, or two. We'll see what happens. As well as we do have Lux, they do have a, a VR build to where you can actually test it out, guys. I will be showing you guys some recordings of this. I did get an Oculus the other day. I got an Oculus the Quest 2, I believe. Um, and so we're gonna, we're gonna get some content of that stuff, checking it out, guys. I really just wanna be in the metaverse and show you guys the metaverse and Come see what we can come up with, guys. As well as Final Frontier, you know. Um, nothing, nothing new on this as far as what I need to read up on the chat. Node Bears, another one of the decent projects I'm in. Essentially, you own uh, an NFT. An NFT bear um, essentially grants you uh, a stake in, or I guess like a percentage cut out of the community shares that are owned by the you know, NFT company or whatever you want to call it, right, in a sense. And essentially those holdings or the treasury is, um, I believe, 50, 40, 10. And so I think it's 50% straight into strong nodes, slower nodes, and, a, and I believe one other nodes. Um, and those are just for investments. And then there's 40% that is invested 
and do the same thing except for there's weekly giveaways for nodes so I could win a, a node every week um, as well as get a weekly payout so um, that's kind of roughly what that one is um, so they're just saying um, how will get, uh, giveaways work giveaways will be held each week on Friday if not decided by, differently by holders each week the number of nodes given away will be announced before the giveaway so you guys this is what I'm talking about <clears throat> each NFT gives you a chance to win in the giveaway. You need to be the holder of the NFT. If you sell, you are no longer holder of the NFT, meaning you are not eligible to win. So you have to hold it. You can't just mint it and then sell it later. You need to be actively holding it every week to get that perks, um, is what they're just saying. You can own more NFTs, which give you a higher chance to win. Each NFT gives you three tickets, or gives you one ticket into the giveaway. I have three bears, so I get three tickets, I guess. Um, and these, I believe, minted for one uh, one ABEX each, and I think they're selling for like 3.5, 3.8, something roughly around there last I checked. Um, all of these um, can win once a week. If that, you know, so if, if your NFT will be drawn, it won't be drawn again in the same giveaway, but you'll be able to win again in future giveaways. So just that one NFT can only win once, but if you have three, then you have the chance to win three times if there's three um, giveaways, actually, so which is pretty crazy. One holder is <clears throat> able to win more times each week, um, each giveaway. If so, or if, if so, if you own 10 NFTs, you'll be able to win up to 10 times each week. So that's what I'm talking about. So you can win up to, you know, however many NFTs you have if, if there's that many nodes they're giving away that week. There will be a high chance in the future for people who lose a lot. All the math will be, um, all the math behind this will be shared before the first giveaway that we will implement. Right now, all NFTs have the same chance to win and have the same chance after the first giveaway. Okay, so just a little bit of details on that. Um, as well, they do have a new tweet just saying, uh, "Who's excited for Friday?" More, holy sh! More than twenty thousand dollars will be given away this Friday with this project. That's unreal. You know, that is that is pretty pretty crazy guys. That's almost a thousand bucks a person, you know. Actually that's not even close to a thousand bucks a person. We got uh, I think like seven thousand bears. Or sixty nine, sixty nine I think. Um, anyways, a couple other projects, you know, we got Rock Game over here, <laughs> everyone's kind of memeing it out every once in a while, talking about price, price action, uh, just talking about upgrade guys, upgrade, 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 as well as this project, Lives of Austin, uh, this one yesterday finally did the reveal, I think I got a cute ass, cute ass Asuna. And I actually am a super nerd. Um, I actually super down into uh, Sword Art Online. And then from there, I actually had a cat named Asuna that passed away about a couple months ago. And, you know, I guess just luck of the draw, I was like, hey, we're gonna get into this project. I, I love, you know, from really coming from, from the, I was really attached to the cat kind of thing. And, and just like it was one of the main characters that I was like super into and behind. And so I was like, all right, cool. Like, this is a cool ass chick. Like, we'll, we'll go with it. And then I saw the artwork for this and I was like, oh damn, this artwork's pretty solid, man. So we actually <clears throat> geez, had our reveal today or yesterday. And so we'll actually uh, show that to you guys real quick. So this is, uh, this is my Asuna, pretty sick guys as well as I don't know how it's gonna work but they're going to have it built in where you can actually detach different aspects of them and, and makes different NFTs and then that NFT you can then put on any other awesome I'm not too sure how it's gonna work exactly right now but so any of these cat ears or whatever you want to do like for from the sound of it you know you can take it off and add it onto something else you know, floor price is down a little bit, you know, looking, you know, $1,300 for one of these guys. They were selling for upwards of 7000 a couple days ago, and that's fine. Um, I'm fine holding on to this for a while, you know. 
I was only able to mint one because I only had enough to do that. So definitely in the future, if, you know, and that's the kind of thing where if you were able to pull off two or three of these and you keep the one that you want to keep because you do think it'll go higher over time and then you do have a couple others that you can then flip and sell and make your money back, that, that would probably be the way to do it. And I think that's what I'm going to start doing as far as just, uh, just picture related NFT projects. So anyways, I don't want to talk forever, you know, I could keep going, I'm almost done with my coffee. Um, as I follow up to this one, some uh, pre-generated ones have certain, okay, so she's just talking about the reveal yesterday. And then they're just, you know, being open, they're just saying, hey, there's a couple of uniques that belong to the team, then they were gifted to them for being a part of this team and help building. And that's all that's covering makes sense to me you know um, some of the pre-generated ones don't have certain traits which usually is really are sniffers to think they're much rarer than they are please be, be careful before buying off rares as there's tools and some value tools. due to it's detecting a I can't even pronounce that word in the trials okay and then we got bot borgs Ooh, love this project Love this project, guys. I need to do a lot more, a lot more videos on this guy. Um, all they have, all they're updating is they just have a raid going on. You know, uh, police and thieves, guys. Police and thieves, we're back at it again. All right. Do we have any announcements? No, we don't. I know. Yesterday, I tried to stake my thief again, and. And this is actually one of the first first games I got into, and I only got one NFT. And so you know, over time we we move up there. So phase two. Okay, I don't see my guy. Oh, well, my wallet's not connected. That would be why, because I need to switch networks. Okay. I tried to upgrade yesterday, and won't let me. Up, so okay, so leveling system not up. Can I stake it? Okay, is he currently down? Okay, so I guess he's staked right now. I guess he is making bribe. I guess he's making, he's made 1.666 bribe. Okay, cool. Mark the beast, don't like that. Um, anyway, so this, this game's finally going again a little bit, you know. Um, nice to see that they're finally kind of back to work on it. I do need to kind of be in the chat and check on this one today as well. Crypto Raiders, they've done tons of updates to this this project. Crypto Raiders, another awesome project to look into, guys. Um, as well as AVAX Warriors, another super awesome project. They just said that they were going to be releasing some stuff um, yesterday. And so that's something good to be looking into as well as Revify. This is one that I'm very bullish on. Um, it's very small knit group right now. And essentially what this is, is it's going to be a Wi-Fi router that I can mine on. And so coming from like a crypto mining background side of things that I got into NFTs with, this is something that I'm very cool, very interested in. So I picked up one of these and it's on order and I'll review that whenever it gets here for you guys. Um, Phantom Galaxy is another one that I'm into. Um, this is a pretty solid project as well. They actually have a, a game trial that you can play right now and they're gonna be releasing iterations. So they have uh, iteration or volume one out right now and I believe volume two's coming out soon. Um, as well as they did a bunch of big updates the other day for it, um, which I, need, I just need to make a whole new video. <clears throat> Everseed. Um, see what they got going on. This is another project I'm into. Um, I'm actually really into the the person that was building it because I, you know, I hear this guy talking all the time in different Twitter spaces, and then he started. I jumped in another one, and he was actually saying, "Hey, I'm the person making Twitter, you know, making Everseed or whatnot." And I was like, "Oh, okay." And so, slowly been slowly been following this project as it's been going. So I do have a little bit to read up on this guy. So it's just saying, hey, scammer listings, guys, gotta gotta watch out for those. Only get stuff from the Discord links. If you're not on Discord, you're not in NFTs. Okay, put it simply. Um, here's another one, Imperium Empires. 
this is a, another one that I need to read up on exclusively because I know their mint is going to be sometime this week, I believe. Yeah, ship sale. So they have an NFT ship sale sometime this week. I need to look that, look into that, figure out when that's going on. Um, as well as Thor nodes, I do have two different Thor nodes. Um, I have one Thor node itself, and then I have I think one Hemdel or not, 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 not the Hemdel, the, the smallest one. <laughs> Whatever the smallest one is, that's the one I have. Um, the second one I have, the one I started with. So I got some. I got to read up on that. Um, and then other than that, then it's just a couple other projects that. You know, stuff I, I've been looking into that I want to join into, you know, blockchain miners. I think this is an awesome project. I love the idea behind it. And it's a uh, very real world and uh, pays out as well. So I'm trying to be in the passive income side of, side of things, guys. Um, as well as, you know, battle, bo battle boboas. <clears throat> um, battle boboas, whatever it's uh, pronounced. This is uh, another project I've been slowly following. Um, I joined in very soon after the mint, and I've been slowly kind of still in it, but at the same time, it's starting to really look like rug at this point, and I kind of hate that, but I'm just trying to be a real person here, guys. Um, the team posts something every... It's actually been... Been a couple days since they've even posted anything in announcements. Okay, so... Yeah, it's been a week, and uh, they were supposed to be releasing more on this game for a Phase 2, and the Phase 2 never came, and uh, it's been about a week, so not looking too good on that. You know, you win some, you lose some. Next thing, we got Alluvium. Alluvium. <laughs> I think you're roasted for butchering all these names. Alluvium is next, so, you know, in this one. Okay, so uh, one of our outsourcing studios, 3D exclusive backblasting on materials. Okay. So that actually looks super cool. Super cool. Loving the textures of the different water biomes that we have going on here. Different biomes. Different foliage. Oh, this game is going to be so sweet when it comes out. I am so ready to see this game <clears throat> in action and play it. Okay, so we got different mushroom trees. Okay, so they even have different circles of them around throughout the world. We have a size comparison. Okay, we even have the region category, so there's going to be different regions. Okay, so we got the swamp, category props, name, wood. Okay. Oh, we even got a little video of some fighting. We'll show that real quick. Like a 30 minute video at this point, but hey. Just showing different effects going off. Looks beautiful though. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> Thing are just showing, uh, looks like a defense card. Defense card. Okay, so this is leveling, possibly defense. Okay, so we got different stages. Stage one, two, three. <clears throat> Category defense. Okay. The alluvial gains 20 physical resistance and thorns equal to 10% of attack damage. All right. Alright, so a little bit here, <laughs> whatever this little guy is, huh? Alright. And then avatar rank frames. Okay, that's kinda cool. The real game developers here will appreciate how good our poly modeling team is. I'm not even in gaming and this is beautiful. I'd love to be in gaming though. Guys, if you want to teach me how to, how to design some games, reach out to me. I'm legit. I'm serious about that, though. See what happens. This this looks pretty solid, though, so far. This is one of my most bullish typed games on that I'm definitely, definitely going to try to pick up on and get into. Alright. 
So yeah, just some, some concept pictures, some, some more detail work that they've dropped in here. All right, and then past that, it's really just gets into projects that I'm, you know, looking at. I don't actually own anything in Gala Games. Um, I'd like to own some stuff, maybe Mirandus one day, possibly. Um, I, Hound Star is one of the first games that actually kind of brought me into the plane to earn space, but it's just too high of an entry point for, for where am I, I'm at. So, you know, a couple other projects, um, some good, some bad, right, you know, so, and these are all just ones that I've slowly looked at at one point, you know, we got UFO, we got Divine Anarchy, <laughs> Divine Anarchy actually, uh, I guess we all have a rite of passage, I got scammed, and, uh, not from Divine Anarchy, um, I went to, to Mint on Mint Day with these guys, and I was noob status over here thinking, oh, a DM from the Discord will be nice and juicy, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's had to gone through this cycle, of, right? And that's why I try to tell people, hey, Discord is the devil. Don't look at this D DMs. Tell people to DM you on Twitter, okay, guys? Be smart, be safe about it, because I didn't even notice at the time, you know? I was, I got, it was like the night before it was going to come out, I got a DM and it was like, hey, you know, join here, where you're doing a pre-sale, yada yada. I was like, okay, cool, we'll join in, we'll do this pre-sale, awesome, I love it. We'll like, get it, buy in early, right? Go to their website, website, full clone of website, looks exactly the same. Like, to every detail and every T, like, every T. And my dumbass self pulled up another website, or actually pulled up the real website, and was going back and forth. And I was like, yeah, it looks legit, it looks legit, totally makes sense. And uh, went and uh, sent $400 to, to the Netherland, and uh, never seen it again. But you live and you learn. I would eventually like to buy back into this project, but I know it's been so many months at this point that it's a lot that I've missed out on. So... Anyways, a couple projects I'm into, <clears throat> um, as far as that goes, as well as guys, I do have a group of dice rollers, and if you guys are ever interested, every Sunday we throw dice, alright, so if you're ever interested in getting in that D&D, um, hit me up on Twitter, we're about to start our campaign this Sunday, so might be still time, anyways guys, um, short brief you brief of uh, a couple games I'm in, a couple games you might be looking at, and uh, gonna go from there. You guys have a good one.